in Hyderabad and we've come to the BJP's headquarters to find out what's happening in the BJP camp. Remember, the BJP is an intriguing case study here in Telangana. In 2019, the party won four Lok Sabha seats. In 2020, they actually came second in the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation elections. But since then, the BJP's rise has been stalled in this southern state amidst reports of growing rifts and divisions within the party leadership here. What's happening then with the BJP in this election? Let's find out. <laughs> Sir, how are you? Good to see you in Hyderabad, not in Delhi. Mr. Reddy, tell me. All opinion polls are saying this is battle between Congress and BRS. BJP ka kya role hai? Between BRS and Congress, who is your enemy number one? Congress nationally is your main enemy. Both are enemies. We are both, both are family parties, both are corrupt parties, both are our enemies. Majlis party ka hat mein steering dena wale BRS ka saath, mai kyo milta hoon? Kabhi jindagi mein nahi milta hoon, jab tak mera jaan rahega, aisa BRS ka saath, majlis party ka saath jane wale party se nahi milenge hum. Jo ek momentum laga tha ki BJP ab Telangana mein bahut aage jayegi, opposition party banegi, is baar lagta hai Congress is challenging BRS and not BJP. No, it's not like that. The field is not like that. The people who are running in social media, the Congress party is running away from the Congress party. What is your target for Telangana? How many seats is BJP aiming for? 10, 20, 25, 5, 30? What is your target? The government will be the most important seat for the government. Sir, you are saying 60 seats will come? Absolutely. You are looking at camera and saying... No problem. Absolutely. I am going to form the government in Telangana. I am told you ideal situation for BJP is hung assembly ho jai aur fir sarkar ke fir aap dekhenge you will want to be king maker ki BJP wants to be king maker you want hung assembly you have you have freedom sir you can say but I I I am say I am confident I will get absolute majority who is handling your ministry by the way aap idhar hai to ministry kaun sambal raha hai ja ke aaro every weekly two days six in da ke my god itna yani four days in in Hyderabad three days in Delhi yeah five days two days ja ke aaro Kishan Reddy ji thank you very much we'll wait and see how well the BJP does in this election we've had plenty of politics on election on my plate it's time to fill up the plate time for lunch let's go. It's time for a classic Telangana Thali recommended to me by my producer. Come with me. Hungry traditional Telugu cuisine restaurant. Uh, what is your what is your traditional Bandi Bojanam? Bandi Bojanam. Which means what? Which means uh, non-veg food. Non-veg? Unlimited. Unlimited? Yes. Unlimited thali. But I have got limits. Very colorful restaurant, huh? Achha colors hai. All the film stars. All, sir. All your South Indian film stars. Who is who? Sri Devi. Ah, I got that right. Yeah? Shoban Babu. Shoban Babu, right. Krishnam Raju. Krishnam Raju. Yeah, superstar Krishna. Hai. Superstar Krishna. And Savitri Devi. Savitri Devi. Yes, Nageshwar. Nageshwar Rao. Nageshwar Rao, I know this. NTR. This is a young NTR. Data number one and also film star number one. Yes, sir. Your favorite? Yes, sir. Your favorite? Your favorite? NTR is your favorite. That is? Surya Kanta Amma. Surya Kanta Amma. And this? S.V. Ranga Rao. S.V. Ranga Rao. Wow. ये तुम फिल्म स्टार खाने के साथ फिल्म स्टार अरे वाह व्हाट मोर डू यू व्हाट लेट्स एन्जॉय द तेलंगाना थाल चिली चिकन Chicken pakodi. Mutton. Wow, this is a non veg's delight. Chicken pickle. Ah, pickle. Non veg chicken pickle. Nice. Pickle maybe chicken. Chicken pickle. Yeah. Mutton pickle. I love them. Fish fry. Thank you. 
पूरी अरे भाई पूरी से इतनी दूरी मत रखो ओके देर यू हैव इट माई राधा कलरफुल लुकिंग तेलंगाना खाली आई एम ऑल सेट टू ड्राइव इन टू इट एंड देन वेन वी रिटर्न वे गुड लुक एट द बैटल फॉर द मुस्लिम वोट इन हैदराबाद यू आर वॉचिंग इलेक्शन ट्रूली ऑन माई कलरफुल प्ले यो विथ इलेक्शन ऑन माई प्ले नाउ there is a battle within a battle taking place in telangana this time for the hearts and minds of the people of hyderabad traditionally the ovcs have dominated hyderabad's politics this time the congress is pitching former cricket captain turned politician mohammad azruddin as its star candidate from here in jubilee hills in hyderabad it's a tough seat but obviously azruddin versus ovc has become a high prestige contest Let's go and meet Mohammad Azharuddin on the road show in Jubli Hills. Azhar bhai what is more difficult playing cricket for India or contesting from Jubli Hills? Playing cricket was always uh, very easy. Was very easy Definitely, because I was trained for that. Haan. But politics you know I'm still learning. It's a lot of hard work you know because I know cricket was easy but in politics you get the result very fast in one one month uh, campaigning you'll get the result but in cricket it took me almost 12 years to come into the Indian team but you know uh, both OVC and KT Ramarao are saying you are an outsider Azharuddin is an outsider in Jubilee Hills he doesn't know Jubilee Hills I'm a pure blood pure Telangana blood I'm born brought up fed here these all these talk they are doing is because they haven't done anything concrete so they have nothing to show about development they have nothing to show what they have done for the telangana they are saying bangaru telangana rajiv bhai i want to tell you this constituency ktr sahab lives just across he doesn't know anything he came only last time when there was election before the rally now he came day before yesterday and he is saying i am a ser- not a serious politician when i can go from telangana and win in moradabad then i must be having some quality some no, seriousness is there he is saying that you contested moradabad you contested tong what is azaruddin uh, has he ever worked in jubilee hills no i i am working in jubilee hills for the last 4 5 months there is nothing wrong i mean what is the what what he has done what they have done what the other the mla who there for the last 10 years haven't done anything but you know it's also ovc versus azaruddin azaruddin no, ovc has been the face of hyderabad are you challenging him in a way he has put up a candidate against you here no, i mean we are we are challenging there is no i mean the challenge is always there i mean the, when you are on the field there is a challenge you have to challenge you have to work hard you to send work on work hard on your basic i am only worried about my party what anybody does it's not my he say he is going to obviously says he is going to defeat azaruddin that's why he put up a candidate the, the third uh, on the third we will know who will defeat who but i think the only thing what he is doing everybody knows you know he's got what is he doing you know what he is doing he just puts everywhere candidate in a big he can't win because he cuts vote and then he is the person who has not done anything for the community are you saying that ovc is dividing the muslim vote Definitely, he has come here yes, to divide the muslim vote 100% percent, that is what he is doing you tell me He when said, he say one point he say i am for minority i am for minority what is he doing for the minority he has won in hyderabad for several decades no, now first yeah, his father yeah, and him I he says he has a loyal vote no, because he works among no, the people no i also i also worked everywhere it's not that nobody everybody is loyal we are also loyal we will also work i mean i also worked in wherever i have got an opportunity i have worked ovc says azuruddin should stick to the cricket pitch let me fight the political pitch i am the man for hyderabad i want to tell you he cannot become a cricketer i can become a politician i have become a politician i am a politician and cricketer he must know he will never become he will never play for india remember that and hyderabad has a large muslim population yes. is this somewhere who is the face in a way for the hyderabadi muslim ovc or azharuddin is that one who does lot of work the person who talks correctly the person who help the constituency the person who is willing to work for the constituency he is the person not giving stupid speeches just standing here and giving whatever he feel OVC like and I then work, i built schools i built colleges i built hospitals well, in hyderabad well that is fine it's good for him that is his own i am also doing i have done also in moradabad i got an opportunity in moradabad i also done a lot of work so is, there is, is this a personal battle you i don't have anything OVC? personal i have nothing no enmity with anything because if you say something about me then i will revert back i will say are you all now friends who are political enemies no, i mean that's their political we are fighting he is fighting from his own party we am fighting from our own party i mean like it, i mean everybody has the right is a democratic democratic country anybody can fight to anybody, anybody one thing i see you are still fit no, how I'm do you keep fit, yourself fit yeah. yeah because i have to fit you fight these people have to fit okay have to be fit yeah. mohammad azuruddin we wish you well on the campaign <laughs>